Hey guys, Flight Sim Jammer here. Wanted to show you uh, how I'm trying to build the gauges to work in our flight sim. Here we go. So, we have a couple pieces here. This stuff is all made out of acrylic. Um, the, I've made four or five now and it's changing a little bit, but uh, they're all basically the same, just slightly, you know, a, a little bit different here and there. Um, this is just a, a clear piece of acrylic and um, we have this uh, special glue that glues the, it bonds the acrylic together, makes it all one piece. We have four bolts here. Um, they're all supposed to be the same size. I ran out, so I have one that's a little longer. These are uh, number eights, and they're um, about an inch and I am to an inch and a quarter long. <clears throat> These are just uh, number eight standoffs, and I'll show you what that's for. There's two of them, um, and then the control board for the uh, 28 Bravo Yankee Juliet-48 stepper motor. Here, this is literally just a printed off piece of paper. It, you know, printed in color and um, I have a clear packing tape on it. That's why it's shiny, that way not that anything was going to happen to it, but just in case. The needle um, is eighth inch uh, acrylic as well. And that is hot glued to the step promoter. Which is why I can't take it off to actually show you. On the back, it's just one of the uh, 28 Bravo Yankee Juliet-48 stepper motors. There's the other standoff. That's what that's for. Um, these bolts here that hold the stepper motor in are actually number six bolts. And um, then the standoffs are screwed onto those. And I was wrong earlier. These aren't number eight. They are number six standoffs. And then this we just hot glue to there right on top of it. That way the metal of these guys don't touch the top of the stepper motor. Not sure if that would matter, but I would assume it would. So, um, and then this guy just plugs into there. And once you have all that, that will go there. And those four screws just bolt it together. That's how easy it is to make the gauges. Um, I will put a link uh, it just below the video here that shows the, um, the kit that I bought. It was on Amazon. <clears throat> About 13 bucks, 14 bucks. And yeah, you, if you don't have acrylic, you could take a piece of plywood, cut out a gauge shape, uh, which is, you know, just roughly a three inch circle with some bolt tabs on it. <clears throat> Glue the sticker to it and then cut out a piece of wood, the shape of a pointer and glue it down to the the stepper motor there and it would work just fine. I wanted them to look more like the gauges that are in the plane. So that's like that. Um, my newer models, this piece here is now made out of clear or opaque white acrylic that I painted black. And then I have a couple um, RGB white strips here. They're the ones I had laying around were 12 volt because I wanted to see if they worked. And 
then um, that backlits this. And then for my newer ones, I've also engraved the faces into the acrylic. And it actually backlights them pretty well. I am still trying to get Moby Flight to work with, I've made four so far. If I run each one individually, they work great. Um, I'm thinking maybe even though it's rated, that maybe my power supply doesn't have enough power to run these. Um, I was looking up how to take resistors and um, put those in line of a 12 volt power supply, which I have running um, my cell phone charger that's in the simulator. So when I'm running my four flight app, it can charge my phone. Um, so I'll get some of those ordered probably take a few weeks. If I can figure it out, I'll make a new video and um, show you guys how you can use a 12 volt power supply step down to make sure that you absolutely have enough power to run, you know. It, it's gonna take uh, 10, um, 10 of these stepper motors to do all the gauges in the sim on top of a couple um, servo motors and so yeah there you go well that's a quick video on how I've built the gauges you'll see the gauges in some of the other videos I do you'll see some of them working airspeed indicator the um, the VSI gauge and the RPM gauge those those ones were working flawlessly. So yeah, uh, remember you like these videos, click the like button, hit subscribe, and hope to see you again soon. You guys have a good day and remember, land safely.